Sneaky eggs, back tonight. Yeah, you thought I'd got away. Now, nah. all boys go back to school now. Everybody's back to school, so we're back on track to get doing stuff we do in Linux. Oh, yes, Linux. But today we're back with Manjaro085, the latest release from them. Remember, it's a rolling release, so you don't really have to do it. But I thought, well, we'll get hold of it and see what's changed, see if it's new and stuff like that. See how it goes, how the install goes. Because there's quite a few changes in this particular version, okay? Now, as you can see, got the usual XFC top bar up here, you know, the usual stuff. But you turn off, log out. We've got our volume icon. My system is up to date. Yes, because it's all installed, by the way. There's my Ethernet connection, my clipboard, my clock, and stuff like that. If we go to the left hand side, you will see, as it's XFC, remember, you can get open box as well, by the way. And there is going to be GNOME and other stuff, and cinnamon. I'm not particularly liking the cinnamon version, personally, myself. But hey, don't shoot me. I'm only the messenger, okay? So we click on the menu there anyway. As you can see, it's usual XFC. Yeah, it's as usual. So you get the use downing system. We get add and remove software, which I'm going to come back to in a little while, so you can have a quick look. I'll open up the task manager for you. Now, considering the last one I used, right, was quite low RAM usage, this particular version, I'm like, using 20% of my memory. Okay. Mm. CPU's not doing anything, but it's using 20% of my memory. Okay. Why is that? I ask myself. Well, there has been a lot of changes, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. So we'll quit that anyway. Danny, we've got a bit of docky going down. What, is it docky? I don't know. It's one of those, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, it's nice though. Anyway, we just quit it a dock bar. Okay. In our dock bar, we get Thunar for your file manager. I'll open that for you. There we go. We're all there. Super duper. Next online is Firefox, as it is. Yes, it is. 18, by the way, because I'm all updated, up to date. And there we go. We're opening them up. And then go to manjaro.org for our stuff for Manjaro. Okay. Yes, indeed. If I scroll down a bit, we can say read more if you want to. Now, remember, if you've gone to DistroWatch, you can only download the 64-bit versions from there. If you go to the Manjaro site, you can download the 32 bits. If I go to download, I'll show you what I mean. Go to latest release. <clears throat> I'm have to wait down here. And here's the latest version. So we'll open up the parent folder. Okay. Get that one there. All right, for a bit. Let me scroll down and scroll down. You'll see the 686 version as well as the 64-bit version. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. There's also a net install one if you want to do it that way. And here's the open box as well. You will soon be able to get the other ones as well because they're doing GNOME and doing everything, aren't they, really? And I really like Manjaro and it did come number one in this year's thing, didn't it? Yeah, the one I done. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Flash is installed by default. So if I quickly... I'll go to the tube, couldn't I? Yeah, might as well, while we're here, while we're waiting. Oh, it's so it's so quick. Do you see what I mean? It's so quick. I'll be quick of a drinkage here. Hang on a second. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And we'll put me in, and we'll just quickly. What are we in YouTube in for? What a wally eye. Let's put me in. King on. That's me. And we'll see what goes down. One second. Uh, oh, another Manjaro one. This is the LXD one. And we'll just make sure that it runs out of the box, which it does. Okay, but I'm just. I'll show you just to make sure. Five for three, two, one, and our video should start playing like then. So that works. That's fine. So we can get rid of that now. Lovely. Bye. Okay. What else we got down here? Thunderbird is your default for mail. I prefer Docky. I think that's not Docky, is it? LibreOffice is the full suite. I'll open it up for you so you can quickly see what's going down there as well. It's reasonably fast. So yeah. Now, remember, I'm recording at the same time. Ooh. I must get my new machine built actually. As I said, full LibreOffice, so you get text spreadsheets. You may have to get the extras for the presentation from your database and drawing, which I would suggest if you really want to use an Office suite. Otherwise, you might get rid of it and go basically for Abby Word and GNumeric. Okay, goodbye. VLC for your videos, and remember, Steam is installed by default. Okay, a certain main seem to you, oh yeah, I can play games. Right, let's hold on your horses here. You can only play games if you've got a reasonable graphics card, not a cheapo £10 one or £20 one. No, ain't going to work. Because they're quite a reasonable one. And if you want to play really up-to-date games, really, really up-to-date games, if you're going to use wine and stuff, you're going to need a quite an expensive one. Okay? Your video graphics card does really matter. Okay? Anyway, enough of the bad bits here. Yeah? It weren't bad bits, really, was it? Under settings. Accessibility, flash player preferences, blah, 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 ICT, web control panels, all there. Orange is here. Also, preferred applications. I can go on and on, but it's XFC, so you know what it is. Well, what I would say, it's got a new graphical installer. Now, I was going to show you it, but it looks like quite like the others, really. It works. I didn't get, I got an all right with the old text based one, really, but 
for those of you who want a graphical installer, it looks very similar to Ubuntu's really, very, very similar. It works, it does what it says on the tin. Okay, under accessories, all the stuff's here. You get the HP Device Manager as standard, which is I like really, but hey, it's no big deal to download it yourself, is it? But yeah, it is there for you, so you can just plug in your HP printer, which you should be buying really, shouldn't you? Development, this is the QT stuff there, and the Java stuff. Okay, under games, you only get Steam. Okay, that's all you get. Under graphics, you only get GNU manipulation program, which, as you know, is Gimpage and Vuar. And internet, as I said before, the usual, but you also get XChat as well. For multimedia, you get the audio mixer, as you would expect. Pulse as standard, so everything should work hunky dory. You also get XNoise for your music. Right, if you don't mind that sort of thing, it works. I'll open it up for you, you can have a look if you like. Big deal, is it? Spinny, 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 spinny. And there we are. You just import your music, okay? Some of you may prefer something else. You also have to get rid of it for that. There, okay? Goodbye. Right, if I go down to system, we've got to add and remove a software center thingy. So, anyway, not software center, but it's, it's their own graphical thing, really. So it's just a package manager. And say you wanted to download, say, Abbey Word, so we'll do it. Okay, we'll hit enter, and there it is. Do you want that? Yes, I will install that. Okay, so I'll just tick them two boxes. This is how easy it is. It uses Pac-Man anyway, but it's just a graphical front end. So we click apply. Yeah, we want all them, all them extra bits and bobs. I need my password. Do my stuff. And here we go, downloading all, all Atari files. Ta 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 ta. The version it's downloading is 286, which is nice, reasonable, and works out of the box, no problem. I should convert most of your formats that you've got. Do you see how quick it is installing? So I mean, done already. So we can OK that. We can quit the package manager. You can use sudo and oh, sorry, sudo and pacman if you want to use text based. It's entirely up to you. You can do command line. Entirely up to you. If I go to office now, Abbey Word is there. Click on the old Abbey Wordage. We're there. So look at that. Nicey, nicey. That's nothing else to you. Well, I did actually prefer the the, sort of the old XFC version of Manjaro personally. Okay, that's just me personally. But okay, we move on with the times. Okay, you can always put Conky in yourself, can't you? Because we had Conky over it before. Do you remember? And it works right. Yeah, I don't mind it whatsoever. Very, very good indeed. And it's been stable while I've been using it for the past few days. So yeah, sneaky Linux, lovely, 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 lovely. Ninety-five percent sneaky Linux out and back again very soon for another. Bye, bye.